What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pub. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, it's that time of the month where we're talking about fungal pops that are trending for crazy prices and that you guys should be on the lookout for. As always, big shout out to Serlent Pops. He's the one that puts a list together every week called Pops on the Rise, talking about Funko Pops that have gone up in price a good amount. And um, so we're gonna be taking a couple from his list that he has, and we're also gonna be taking a couple that I have noticed in my own personal collection that has gone up in price. And yeah, should be fun. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so first off, we're starting off with something in my personal collection. And uh, this is a pretty cool pop. So it came out in 2019. It was like at the beginning of 2019. Um, and this is the, well, let's just go out and say, it. this is the Nacho Libre Masked Chase. And so this is trending right now online for $65. So this pop is a pretty cool one. Um, as far as why it's going up in price, I'm not 100% sure, honestly. I mean, I know that, uh, I mean, Jack Black is obviously a really famous actor, and this is kind of one of those weird cult co following kind of films. It's kind of like Napoleon Dynamite in the sense that it just kind of has that same kind of humor, I guess. Looks kind of like a little bit of like a low budget film as well. And so I could see, I don't know, a lot of people really like this movie and this chase is really cool too. I mean, you can see on the back what it normally looks like and then compared to what the chase is on the front with his mask and everything, definitely a really cool chase. And honestly, there's only two pops out there. There's this one and like the common, like I was talking about right there. And so, I don't know, since a lot of people really like this movie and then they go out and realize that there is a pop of this, that could be a reason why it's going up in price. Do I see it going up in price even more I don't know possibly not a ton but like for a common chase that was released at like most stores and everything that's a pretty solid price for 65 bucks so um, I don't know if they ever really re-release this at stores and everything it could definitely go down but this is a pretty solid start and um, a pretty cool one that is definitely trending for a pretty good price all right guys next up we have a pop from the myths line this came out in 2018 of September. This was exclusive to the Funko shop looks like, and it is the Bigfoot with stick or with like the little marshmallow stick basically or whatever. And he is trending for $65. So just like that Nacho Libre chase, I think this has gone up probably around 15 or $20 and that's why it's on this list. But the miss line is pretty big. Bigfoot was the one that started it all off with the original Bigfoot and they made a couple of other variants for some comic cons and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not surprised that this one's going up in price. I mean, it was limited with the Funko shop, who knows how many they actually made, but I mean, they've had had other pieces for other comic cons and stuff. So this one's just a little bit different than the original. And that makes sense why it's going up in price. And like I said, the Miss line is really big with like the Loch Ness monster, Medusa, Kraken, all those other ones are really popular as well. So this kind of goes along with that pretty good. Could I see it go up in price even more? Absolutely. And so that's just one that you guys should be on the lookout for and maybe an overall category for the the miss line that's trending for higher prices. I find this one kind of interesting too. I don't own this pop either, but this came out in March of 2018. This is an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, also was shared with GameStop. And this is the Padme Amidala, is that say Genesis, I believe? Um, and yeah, she is trending for $190. And now I'm assuming that this is just the um, actual convention sticker of her that is trending for that much. But still, that is pretty darn crazy. Star Wars pops are really hot right now, especially the ones of like the normal characters, not really like variants per se, depends on the variant and stuff, but some of those um, like, somewhat recent trilogy, I guess, of the one, two, and three movies. Some of those pops have gone up in price like crazy, like Mace Windu, General Grievous, and so this is another one, or a good example of another one that has gone up in price with that. Um, and I don't know, I, I can't really say if this is gonna go up in price even more, but it's trending definitely for a crazy price for kind of like an obscure-ish kind of character or whatever. I mean, obviously Padme is pretty big and everything, but it's interesting to see it going for that much. All right, guys, so next up we have a pop from Attack on Titan. I don't have the year on this one. I think it came out in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, if I had to guess. Um, and this one was a Hot Topic exclusive and it is the Beast Titan six inch. And now this is trending for $85 according to the Funko app. 
That's pretty crazy. Attack on Titan, I believe, is on its last season. I don't watch the show, but I know a lot of people are really like it. It has a pretty big following. Um, it's one of the more popular animes that are out there. And since it's on its last season, people are looking for collectibles. And one of those collectibles is Pops. There's a lot of different Pops from Attack on Titan that are trending for a really solid price right now. And this is kind of one of those ones that's somewhat recent that you wouldn't expect to go up in price. But since all the other ones are, this is maybe, I don't know if this character has any big role or anything thing in the show or what the the you know the reason may be why it's going up in price but um interesting to see this one i mean for one that's being so recent training for 85 bucks that's pretty solid and you know with that show being almost done um i could see these pops going up even more all right this one makes sense and i kind of mentioned it in my last video talking about uh pops that you should be on the lookout for that you should buy now rather than later um and this is one that's trending for a good amount as well so this is the tom and jerry two pack exclusive to the funko shop and it's flocked trending for 65 bucks tom and jerry i think they just released a movie if not it's this week or next week sometime in february but um yeah this is one that definitely doesn't surprise me that um it is trending because this is kind of one of those only tom and jerry pops that actually had some sort of limited run to it they had a couple of target exclusives some commons and stuff and with the movie out a lot of people are thinking of tom and jerry even more tom and jerry's been around forever but since they are back in the limelight uh their pops are definitely going to be going up in price so they did announce some new ones for tom and jerry and that could affect the price on these as well could this go up even more absolutely so if you're looking to pick this up i would definitely consider getting it now um, because i could see it going up in price a good amount all right guys so this one came out in 2016 i don't own this pop this is a disney pop and this is Pocahontas, and looks like she is trending for $75. Now she's one of those purple box pops that came out a little bit ago. Um, I think Doug was included with that, and um, the other person from Pocahontas, I just forgot its name. I think it's Miko, I believe, the little raccoon. Anyway, so it's cool to see this one go up in price. I think it's gone up about like 15 or 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, Pocahontas obviously is a classic Disney movie and there isn't really any other figures of her out there that I am aware of. I think there might be like a gold variant to like the Disney store or something like that. But yeah, I could definitely see this going up in price even more since it's one of those classic Disney princesses um, that people really like. Obviously, it's a big movie. I mean, it's an old movie. It's been around since the 90s and stuff. And since there's not many figures of her out there, um, this one is definitely going to be going up and up even more. We had to add a office pop to this list for sure. Um, and this is, came out in 2019. It is a Target exclusive and it is the Blonde Dwight Shrew. Now it is trending for 46 bucks. Um, I think this is probably taking about a $10 price jump. So nothing too crazy, but um, it's kind of something that you should be on the lookout for. This was available in a t-shirt pop box bundle from Target. And um, I don't know, there are a lot of variants out there of Dwight, some of them are exclusive, some of them are not. But this is definitely a good example of, you know, Dwight Pops, I mean, even though there's so many of them out there that some of them do go up in price. So I would kind of keep an eye out on the other ones. Could this go up in price even more? I don't imagine a ton, maybe like upper 50s at the most, but Target is notorious for, you know, possibly, um, restocking their pops and so that could happen to this one but like i said keep an eye out for other dwight variants because those could be going up in price as well just like this one all right guys and then the last pop that we're going to be talking about today this is the well this came out i want to say last year was this 2019 no two years ago i believe this was exclusive to the funko shop it was bundled with another pop um, and this is the Roadrunner from the Looney Tunes. And this is trending for $100. And guys, this is the only pop of the Roadrunner that is out there. And like I said, it came bundled with Wiley e. Coyote. Yeah, and it's trending for a pretty solid price right now, a hundred bucks. And that doesn't surprise me at all. I think they only made, from I remember when these were initially released, I think they only made about eight thousand and obviously the only place that you can get it now is the second hand market because it was exclusive to the funko shop but this is a pretty solid pop um if they i don't know if they'd ever make another roadrunner if they did it'd probably be like a moment between him and like wiley e. coyote i'd imagine maybe like chasing each other 
that kind of thing or something. I don't know. But I mean, this is a good sign of other Looney Tunes pops going up in price as well. I know that Pete Puma has gone up in price and Speedy Gonzalez. And so those main characters, they don't have other variants of their pops. They're definitely going to go up in price because Looney Tunes is a very popular line. And with Space Jam coming up, those could go up even more. So this is a cool one. Good example of that. That's trending for a pretty solid price. And uh, so yeah, guys, there you go. There's Roadrunner. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this video of pops that are trending for crazy prices. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what's something in your collection that you've noticed has gone up in price recently. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and go and give Surlin pops a follow for any Funko news or pops on the rise, definitely go ahead and do so. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity and I'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you guys later.